Is a Tesla worth buying? Let's find out. Right, if you're thinking of buying a Tesla for personal usage or for a business, or perhaps, you know, you want to use it for taxi work like Uber or Bolt, then this is the right video for you because we're going to discuss the pros and cons of having a Tesla. Like, what is it like? You know, how expensive is it to run, etc. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know if it's worth buying a Tesla or not. Right, so we're going to start this video by talking about the pros and cons of having a Tesla. Now, I'm actually now on my fourth EV. This Tesla is actually the fourth electric car I've owned, and this is actually my second Tesla. And my previous one, I did about 30,000 miles. And this one, I've currently done around 12,000 miles. So, you know, I've got quite a bit of experience when it comes to Tesla. So, there will be some credence to, to the advice I'm giving you guys. Right, so let's start with the pros. And trust me, there are so many pros when it comes to owning this car, man. Honestly, like I've had to make the list short simply because I could most likely just go on and on and on about <laughs> why it is such a great car. But we'll start with this one. Right, so the first best thing about Tesla is, you know, it's an EV, it's fully electric, so you can say goodbye to high gas prices, you know. Now, if you live um, in a house and you have a drive, then you, you know, you can install a charging point, which then will reduce the amount of money you spend on charging the car. But, you know, let's say you're unfortunate and you live in a flat, then, you know, you can expect to be spending around... 20 to 25 pounds to charge this thing because you know the energy prices is off the roof you know when i first got my tesla it used to cost around five pounds to charge it to now where it's costing you know 20 to 25 pounds so do bear that in mind it's gonna cost you quite a lot now to charge this thing than it did back in the day now for pro number two is you know less maintenance with a tesla actually it's brilliant because you don't need to maintain anything you know there's no oils and all that stuff you do on a more traditional vehicle you don't have to do any of that the only thing that will cost you a lot is the tires for some strange reason Tesla require very high quality tires well it's not strange because a car it's a high-end car you know it's a sports vehicle so you know they recommend you get these Michelin tires which I believe will set you back around anything from around 200 to 280 per tire so that's gonna be your biggest expense just these Michelin tires but other than that you don't have any other expense because you know electric cars don't require much apart from just power from the battery right so for number three let's look at Tesla's self-driving technology for me I think this is actually it's, it's amazing for someone who's never really been in a self-driving vehicle before you know it does blow your mind when you know you've got a long journey and you know you're just on a motorway and you're driving straight for about 40 to 50 mile you know you could just put this on autopilot and it will take you effectively to you know for the next 50 to 60 journey till you um 60 miles sorry until you have to exit and it does it so well you know if traffic slows down the car will slow down and you know when traffic picks up the car will pick up again and it's just brilliant it's brilliant but of course one of the most annoying thing is you know every so often the car will ask you to place your hands in a steering wheel just so you know they know you're still awake and you're in full control of the car but you know for someone like me who's a taxi driver i do a lot a lot of airport runs and you know to just be able to put this on self-driving mode and have it take me there it's, it's quite handy i must say right so number four you know you are helping to essentially make um the planet greener because you know one of the advantages of having an electric car is that you know there's no tailpipe to dish out any toxic fumes so you know the air is cleaner and as a result you don't pay congestion charge in london or ULES. so again that's going to work in Tesla's favor really so I consider that to be one of the pros number five you know Tesla's entertainment package you know it's absolutely brilliant you can almost all the music apps you've got on here and almost all the streaming apps like Disney Netflix YouTube it's all on here and you know if that's not enough you've got 
so many games you can play you know if, if you like card games you can get that if you like chess you know solitaire all them kind of games you can get that on here you can even somehow download mario kart and stuff like that so you know it's absolutely brilliant the entertainment package i must say now for six one of the biggest uh, pros for having a tesla is trust me when i say this it really does have that wow factor you know as a taxi driver i've driven this to you know go pick up clients you know who live in mansions you know you drive like big cars like range rovers rolls royce but you know every time they get into a tesla it's, it's always oh wow i've never been in one of this before and and then you know we'll spend the whole journey me just answering questions on you know what a tesla is like and stuff like that so it really does have that wow you know wow factor for for a car that's what under fifty thousand pounds i know fifty thousand pounds is still a lot of money but you gotta remember this car is literally impressing people who owe cars that cost you know a hundred grand two hundred grand and number seven for me would be tesla's impressive security system you know fun fact not a single tesla has ever been recorded stolen or missing and that would make tesla the only car company to have this you know because every other car on the planet has been recorded stolen at some point or another beside tesla so how impressive is that now this car has got 24 hour surveillance camera you know with the car recording any motion movement you know um from all angles of the car from every side because it has got a camera located on every side of the car so from front the rear and the two sides right and you know any if the car detects any motion movement it will often just send you a notification to your phone and then of course you can use your phone to actually access the camera and see what's happening around your vehicles and again i can't think of many cars that offer that so that has to be one of the pros now number eight and this is the last one i will say one of the biggest pros of having a tesla is having access to tesla's charging network because you gotta remember no other ev company has their own network of charges and you know this really sets tesla you know from the rest of them because put it this way let's say you're doing a journey that's just driving from i don't know england to scotland you know, it's about five to six hundred miles right the car will actually tell you hey look you will need to stop here and there in order to complete this journey and what it also does is as you get closer to um, your charging network whichever one the car selects for you it will actually precondition the engine and make the engine faster well it doesn't have an engine but it'll, it'll make the yeah it actually does so it will make the engine um, warmer therefore meaning it will charge a lot quicker so the car does that and you can hear it it will tell you the car is now preconditioning um for faster charging and it's, in it's incredible you know, within 25 to 30 minutes your car's charged you know plenty of time to use the loo have a coffee or a snack so again as i said no other ev company does that now we're gonna do the cons now and trust me there aren't that many cons of having this car it's just such a brilliant car i mean i could speak about it forever now one of the first cons i would say is you know the steep price you pay to have a tesla you know just a standard model for the model 3 will set you back around forty thousand, which you know it, it is an obscene amount of money and you know that only offers you around 200 range so of course you'll be tempted to pay eight thousand pounds more and get the long range model which is the one i have and you know this has the capability of doing around 300 to 350 miles you know depending on your uh, payload and how fast you're traveling of course but i will say this tesla's range is actually fairly accurate in um, comparison to all the other ev vehicles that i've driven and you know when you turn on your heater or, or, or AC, it doesn't seem to kill your range like all the other EVs uh, do. Right, let's look at con number two, and I would say that's probably charging time, you know? If you switch from petrol to electric, one of the most annoying things you'll find is 
and the charging time is it's annoying you know charging your electric car and this is not just tesla charging any electric car you're looking around you know a minimum of, a, of an hour now of course tesla if you use a supercharger you could charge probably in under 35 minutes depending on how low your battery is of course but you know from let's say you go you can go from 20 percent to 80 in less than 25 minutes which is quite amazing because in most cars that's gonna take you over an hour so again you know in comparison to let's say owning a petrol car where it's only gonna take you five minutes to fill your car and go so that's one of the biggest con of not just a Tesla of all EV vehicles but you know of course if you're buying an electric car you should be aware of this already number three for me will be you know some Teslas have a shorter range than the other but I believe almost every vehicle um, works in this exact same format isn't it they'll sell you the same car um, but you know less desirable but at the same time they'll make them more affordable so you know if you did want just a standard version as I said that will cost that'll set you back around 40,000 and if you wanted a long range you're looking around 48,000 and you know Tesla are very good at doing things like this because they'll give you a car that's cap you know that has the capability to do a lot of things but they will limit your car until you pay them extra money like for example you know you can buy an acceleration booster which is insane because it means your car is already capable of doing this if you it's just you push a button and they make your car faster <laughs> or you push another button and then your car goes from you know the standard autopilot to the enhanced autopilot which essentially drives itself so that annoys me because the technology the software the hardware it's already you know installed in the vehicle but to access it you have to pay them more and i honestly think that's annoying now con number five and this is quite an annoying one which is you know your biggest expense of having a tesla will be the tires i promise you these bloody tesla tires are so expensive one tire will set you back around you're looking around 200 to 280 because a tesla you can't just slap any old tire on there you need you need a decent tire and tesla themselves recommend that you use michelin so all my tires are michelin and you know and these tires will last you anything they say about 8,000 to 10,000 miles and then you need a new set so bear that in mind you know that's going to be one of your biggest expense which is the Tesla tires now guys that's pretty much about it so again if you you know found this video somewhat useful do hit that subscribe button man and I'll uh, we'll see you guys in the next video peace out